here's what happened today. Uh, Melissa Harris Perry walked off of MSNBC and said, they've been preempting me every weekend. I'm not going to do it anymore. So you just come out and say it if you're going to do it, right? Don't don't take me off the air implicitly, basically. And she has some pretty harsh language uh, uh, that had a racial component to it, like, hey, don't play, treat me like the person you trot out there and does a show. At, at Dan I don't want to misquote her, I don't, I don't have it in front of me, but it was strong, okay? Uh, God bless her heart for that. And, um, and then uh, also unrelated, earlier in the day, uh, Rick Tyler, the former communications director for Ted Cruz, Cruz. was hired by MSNBC. Ah! And why was he fired from Ted Cruz's campaign? Uh, for being a notorious serial liar. It was exceeding oh, expectations. Let's turn him into a journalist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps it is good yeah. training. He's uh, now the third most dishonest person that's mm. corresponding for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's now, in the immortal words of Marco Rubio, let's dispel the notion uh, that MSNBC is liberal because they are not. Okay, <laughs> to paraphrase Rubio. He, he was just fired for being too dishonest to hang around with Ted Cruz. <laughs> yeah. It just happened. They didn't wow. wait a month wow. or three months. It was like five days ago. And then like, yeah, 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 bring him in every day, every day. Yeah. He'll just give his opinion. He's an expert. He'll just give his opinion. No big deal. And, and I want to give you guys context. So everybody who works at MSNBC um, can be used on any of the shows. So uh, they're going to use Rick Tyler every day. If they want to, Melissa Harris probably, yes, has a weekend show, but they can use her on any show, right? She's under contract at MSNBC, but they weren't using her at all. Yeah. So, like, yeah, progressive voice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, the guy who was too dishonest for Ted Cruz, too right wing. Yeah, come on board. So it's it's done. It's done. Uh, the MSNBC. If any of you thought it was still a progressive network, <laughs> wakey wakey, they're not doing that anymore. And by the way, let's also dispel the notion that they don't know what they're doing because they do. They do know what they, they do. do. They do know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like the executives there were like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't have uh, that progressive voice on anymore. But on the other hand, we could take a massive right winger and give him a nice contract. Yeah. That's not an accident. That's not like, oh, right. Oh, why didn't anybody tell us that he was an enormous Republican yeah. and she's an enormous progressive? Right. No, right. Jake, they heard your criticism of Scarborough and Mika, and they were like, you know what? The dishonesty just got 10 feet higher. <laughs> to quote Trump. <laughs> no, whenever, that's the beauty of whenever Trump is on MSNBC. I, I really get a thrill watching their journalists uh, speak small talk to power. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the new uh, slogan for MSNBC is lean back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody getting some gin and juice. So uh, anyway, that's that. Uh, there is no more progressive uh, network on uh, TV. Uh -uh. So I guess that leaves us, <laughs> the Brady Bunch. That's what we look like right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, so progressives, welcome. You've got a home here. Yeah. Okay. So if MSNBC doesn't want you, uh, well, sad day for them, isn't it? Right. And uh, they, those idiots. Couldn't get progressivism to work in the media. I'm sure that right now and then earlier they had conversations. Well, liberals just aren't entertaining. Uh, I guess they just, they just don't work on TV, right? I guess that's that's how it works. Yeah, um, I know that's why all of Hollywood is liberal. But somehow liberals can't be entertaining, or perhaps you schmucks couldn't figure it out. Uh, maybe that's why the largest online news network, uh, which is way more than three times your size online, okay, in your entire network. Um, is a home for progressives. Oh, it turns out you can be entertaining and get all the progressives to watch you. You just didn't know how to do it. So don't blame liberals because right. that's, that's the uh. next thing they're going to do. Oh, it's the liberals' fault. They don't know how to be funding. It's all Rush Limbaugh talking points, right? Yeah. So that's why we had to go to someone really entertaining like uh, Ted Cruz's communications director. Yeah. We can't be <laughs> funny like Limbaugh and Mark Levin. <laughs> hey, why, why are you saying that about Mark Levin? Come on, Ted Cruz is the real conservative. Okay, so maybe we should have like an Irish funeral for MSNBC. Like, get really drunk, have fun, you know, tip our forties. Uh, so, you know, uh, it we was should. nice. It was nice knowing you, MSNBC. Yep. I was on there for a couple of minutes.